What's good guys? Back at it with the, another Poetry Friday. Day 22. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wake up, wake up. Gotta get this paper, get this Before we begin this Poetry Friday, if you are new to this channel, my name is Desi, also known as Daily Desi. And if you are, since you're new and you haven't seen any of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button at the end of this video. And also, follow me on Twitter. And I will put that, it's always going to be in the description box down below. So, yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know. But anyway. <laughs> um... Yeah, um, I just uploaded today. Okay, anyway, if you guys haven't already checked out my video, um, that I uploaded today, be sure to check that out. That is my back to school haul. That includes a clothing haul, a bath and body works haul, essentials, needs, and everything, and also school supplies haul. So, Everything you would need and more for a haul for back to school. I know a lot of people are dreading going back to school, but like, it's my senior year, so like, <laughs> I'm ready to go back so I can graduate. <laughs> you feel me? Alright. <laughs> Without further ado, since I don't want to make this a too long video, let's get into this video. For the theme of this Poetry Friday, I decided to pull a little OD from my poem book. It looks like this. It's so beautiful. My camera actually focuses on this. Yeah, it's like this beautiful green one. And like you can tell I had it for years because it has a bunch of cursive writing and drawings and stuff on here and just all that good stuff. <laughs> the name of this poem is called The Roses Were Never Red. So it's kind of a depressing poem as you probably can tell, which is okay. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's ain't okay. Well, my hair is unnaturally curly right now. I swear I didn't curl it. It just I've had my butt, my hair in a bun, like a top bun, messy bun for like days now. And like apparently this is what it did to it. Looks nice. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's start. A garden, a garden with no sunlight, no air, no rain to fall upon its deathly ground. A garden with lots of abandoned flowers, never to grow, yet not, never to die. A lifeless place laid on this earth, a place no one knew, a place no one cared to think of. The place where broken dreams play their soundless games and sing their majestic lullaby. No room for love. No room for care. All hope long past is due. But the strangest thing was, the thing that stood out to me, the heartbreaking story of it all was that roses were never red. My friend, lifeless like the rest of the garden, because the fact is, there was no garden, just a cemetery of graves where the roses were never red and the people forever sang. That was a deep poem. Let me know what you guys think about that poem. But since <clears throat> now that we have 24 subscribers, I feel like I should do a bonus poem. And like, for all you guys' support, I'm going to do a bonus poem for you guys. So yeah, um, I mean, it's, let's look. And then we're going to pick this randomly. Let's see if I have a happy poem. Not a weird poem. I don't think that I have any, um, <laughs> I don't think I have any good ones. I don't think I have any not depressing ones. So, um, yeah. Ah, 
Ah. I wrote so many good ones. Okay, here's an interesting one. It's called Bed of Lies. And I think I wrote this, um, learning how like deceiving people were and like how disgusting people can be sometimes and like yeah. Truth be told, some people are really disgusting, like I'm not talking about nasty disgusting, I'm talking about like a disgusting personality, like they're ultimately just horrible people. And they need to learn how to they didn't take a people class. But hey, the world's not perfect. But still, they're disgusting creatures. <laughs> and there are a lot of disgusting creatures out there. Just so you guys know. Anyway, um, this is Bed of Lies. I watch as your lips move, forming words that are unworthy of being said. I hear them laugh at secrets you laid beneath their feet. I hide hoping you won't dare look my way. Our eyes meet, and I could swear I've seen the devil in your eyes. There's no sunshine and no light put to rest in your unholy name. The air you breathe is toxic from the poisonous words you slither out. I've seen nothing but a cold heart that never skips a single beat. I've seen hate in your eyes, cause we all know the devil's a lie. You stole from me sweet dreams of sunshine, of restless, for restless nights and visions of death with devilish things. I stand before you as a heart that you have stolen. I put you on your knees and take back the heart you stole from me. For I will, f will not and refuse to lay around in your better lies, so God will it be. That's an interesting poem. Yeah. Well, that is the end of this Poetry Friday. And like always, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and let's see if we can get this video some likes and also show some love to the back to school haul video that's my first back to school haul video that I've probably ever done that I'm actually proud of with the editing and stuff and like the way I shot the video but yeah just be sure to also put your comments down below I love comments I love looking at them don't be shy and I'll always respond to your comments. So, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching Poetry Friday. And I'm going to hurry up and skedaddle. <laughs> I'm going to and skedaddle. And edit this video and hurry up and upload it so you guys can enjoy this Poetry Friday. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. with my feelings on fire, guess I'm a bad liar. I see